Hi guys, Chaos ASMR here. I hope this video finds you doing well. So I get a lot of comments on my videos saying, wow, for such a small channel, your videos sure look good. Oh, what a cool background. Hey, what microphone do you use? What camera do you use? And so I thought today I'd talk about all of my YouTube gear that I will be using as we move in to 2024. Now, when it comes to my backdrop, which is very intentionally designed, when it's not framed up perfectly in this camera like this, it's a little bit underwhelming, not gonna lie. But that's how a lot of things are, even like sets on television and stuff like that. You know, it's framed up just perfect for the camera, but it looks like crap otherwise. And that's the situation that we find ourselves in here on the Chaos ASMR channel. By the way, I'm going to put Amazon affiliate links to most of the things I talk about here. So if you want to pick any of it up for yourself, you are supporting this channel via those links. Please buy something, I'm starving. So let's start with the camera. I use the Sony ZV-1 or ZV-1 as my fellow Canadians might say. I really like the way that the picture looks. It's very user friendly. Unlimited recording time is great and reasonably fast autofocus as well. But the biggest flaw with this camera, in my opinion, is the battery life, which is just trash. And this is the battery. They're absolutely tiny. But you need a small battery when you have a very small, tight, compact camera like this. So you give a little, you get a little. So that brings me to my second piece of gear that I'll be using in 2024, which is this dual USB battery bay. And in addition to this battery bay, I have four additional batteries. And you can buy these things in a set really helpful, especially because when you buy this camera, it doesn't come with a battery charger nor any other batteries. So you're basically stuck plugging it in via micro USB to charge it. This way you can keep batteries charged all day long. And when they inevitably die during recording, you can just really quickly swap them out and uh, it kind of takes the headache away from that. Next, we'll move into microphones. So my kind of main desktop microphone is the Blue Yeti microphone by Logitech. It has multiple different modes that you can use, such as omnidirectional and cardioid, which is what I prefer. Yeah, overall really good sound. It's a very sensitive microphone. So if you do pick one up, let me just pull this off. I do recommend getting a pop filter of sorts just to just to take away from some of those harsh S's and P's and T's. Oftentimes when I'm filming in front of a green screen and I don't want to haul all my gear, I can just set up the camera and use a microphone. I use this. It is the Zoom H1N Handy Recorder and it is awesome. Once again, it is very sensitive. So I have this makeshift pop filter on it uh, that's zip dyed on. And this is actually two microphones. When this isn't on here, you can see that. So when you move side to side, you know, it is it records in stereo. So yeah, pretty user friendly, pretty awesome. And it's a pretty funny message when you turn it off. Goodbye, see you. <laughs> so those are essentially the two microphones that I use and I've had no problem with them. In terms of editing audio, I generally tend to keep it pretty raw, honestly, other than if it's a little bit quiet, throwing a little bit of uh, gain and compression on it. But yeah, try to keep it pretty natural sounding. All right, now let's move into lighting. Now lighting, in my opinion, is the single most important thing when it comes to content creation. It's not the quality of your audio, despite being, you know, my niche is ASMR. It's not the quality of the camera. To me, it's all about lighting. So my main light is a soft box light and it really diffuses light. You can see the shadows are not very harsh when I'm doing anything and that's really important to me. It is anyways. 
Um, so that's what I'm using kind of as my main light on a 45 degree angle. And I just want to show this off. I just recently purchased these LED smart bulbs. These are connected to my phone and you can do a lot of pretty fun stuff with it. Like if I wanted to talk about something really sinister, I can bring it down red in an instant like that. Or we can come back up to the regular. You can adjust the brightness and you know, you can go through just a array of colors simply by using your smartphone. So really really cool and i would highly recommend it especially if you're trying to get those vibes going and get some really good mood lighting then for my secondary light i just have this guy it has no branding on it whatsoever so i apologize for that but i got it from walmart it was like 30 dollars, and it's just a multicolored. this has a little remote here and you know you can change it up you know however you like and that lights up the other side of my face. I generally tend to keep it on a fairly neutral color. Prior to this system, I was using just a $50 ring light, which worked really well for me. It kind of casted some harsh shadows, but I will continue to use it in the future. When I'm working with a green screen, I'll probably use the soft box to evenly light the green screen and then use the ring light in front. And I use the green screen for role play videos and things like that. And finally, I use the Joby Gorilla Pod. Uh, for taking my gear on the go. I have this attachment on it here that you can attach your smartphone or you can take this off and it's just your standard thread connection for your camera. This is an unbelievably good uh, tripod. I love that you can bend it and put it in basically any position you can imagine. Mount it onto things. It's awesome. I highly recommend it. The editing software I'm using is Filmora. Very user-friendly, easy to use, and some reasonably advanced features in it. And that's about it. I've also got this Logitech webcam, but I've never used it in a video before. But I plan to do that if I'm trying to do some split-screen live reaction type content or live streaming in the future. So can't really recommend it because I have very limited experience with it. Little tips and tricks that I've learned along the way is you always want to have a light source behind you as like an accent light because it just really helps liven up your background. Now if you're like a daily vlogger or always on the move or something, you know, obviously it's a different case, but when you're like me and you have a dedicated, you know, set so to speak, uh, it's nice to have that. This is a fake plant I got for $10. This is a tapestry behind me of all of the star signs that was handmade in India. A salt lamp and a blue spirit mask from Avatar on an Ikea shelf. And that is my gear going into 2024. I hope you got some value out of this. Uh, like I say, I certainly do get a lot of questions just about my setup and my gear and everything. And that being said, thank you for watching, and we will see you in another video real soon. I am Chaos ASMR. This has been my YouTube gear in 2024. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.